these are rather orange. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're just discussing that. Those are real eggs. Oh. <laughs> They're not production lines. Real eggs for real chickens. <laughs> real eggs for real people. No. The chickens have real eggs. That's good. You can watch them. They're all rain, and none of them get butchered so far. And I can't do it. We don't need to eat yet. <laughs> if I caught them so we're on the chicken, I'm going to butcher them. And when I pick them up, I just go, I can't oh, do it. Oh, baby. <laughs> Come here. Oh, when they die of old age, you can just do them with the wool. Thank you, Cindy. That was wonderful. Yeah, that's, that's great. Yeah. 
I haven't played since, since we, uh... Oh, God, no. She's recording that mess. Who's recording? Oh, they are. Them. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Why did they do that? No. <laughs> Did they well, probably we started recording when we got the when we got the office. Well, listen to and go, why did you record that? <laughs> Thank you. 
I had a really weird awakening once. I was having a dream that was frightening me. Bad dream. I realized this is a dream. I can wake up out of it. And but then, but then, I tried to wake myself up, and it took a long time. I couldn't think of what I was going to see when I opened my eyes, so I couldn't open my eyes. When I finally started being able to picture the bed and knowing I could open my eyes, the last thought as I was waking up was, oh god, it's just one more level of the dream. I had a dream. I can better that. I, had a, I dreamt one time I was having a lucid dream. But I wasn't. It was just a dream about a lucid dream. <laughs> <laughs> and I, dreamt, I, dreamt waking up, I dreamt waking up from a lucid dream, and I dreamt I was thinking about it. And then I really wake up, and I said, oh, that wasn't a real lucid dream. That was just a thought about it. <laughs> 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 they thought about a lucid dream, a real thought. Yeah, that was real The fundamentalist wave is over now. It's time to quit picking all right, all right. Let's get back to the old problem of making a miracle that Randy can't solve. I think that's a good one, too. That's worth how much now, too? What's it? No, it, more than it used to be. I can't recall. There's been, I think it's been added by other... Uh, I think we could pull Randy. Think about it well. Part of it is fixing it so he is not expecting to be fooled by people who are... Randy's going around looking for people who are so deluded. They're, they're so they, they believe it themselves, but they want to. How to put it? The people like Ryan, who cheated on their data, still believe in ESP. And the people who who cheat with the kids at Ben's Spoon and so on, they they actually want to make it true so badly that they feel like just for this one time only we'll budge the data a little bit just so the skeptics don't ruin the whole field and cut off the research so that we can carry forward. And Randy is used to relating to people on that basis. He's used, he knows that they're cheating, but he also knows that they themselves are fools. And they believe in their own mumbo jumbo. Somehow or another, we've got to get Randy by what a confidence man would call a Ponzi scheme. In other words, you've got to get Randy into his. I'd, I'd like to catch Randy in such a way that he would end up having to endorse. Listen. Yeah, we've got to get him. We've got to somehow entrap him in such a way that he will end up endorsing you. Well, what you really need to do then is do a major study on this guy. Yeah. Right. What his what is driving him? He's he himself is a fanatic. Yeah, that really shakes him up. Well, you know, I've been I'm kind of like Randy in some ways. And looking at my own uh, experience or why I'm that way, it's it's it's. I think I think you get that when you become a fanatic debunker because of disappointment in childhood. Somewhere somewhere when you were a kid, you were tremendously let down by religion or the occult or something. You found out. You find out that it's all a hoax. So now you're out to get them for disappointing you so much. And I think what an atheist. Yes, exactly. And I've been all those things. I've been a militant atheist and a debunker and a sorcerer and all combined. And yeah, I did. It really bummed me out. And I think that behind all these heavy debunkers is, is, this, is this kid who's really sad about Santa Claus not being there. Because he and was there clapping for Tinkerbell. That's right. So you got to get in touch. Let's get, we got to get for random, we have to get in touch with that experience and find a way to, to play this artistic entrapment on it. And I think you hit it. You have to be a discovery behind the discovery. Like, like... Or, Ted, how about this one? Here's a literary way of doing it. The idea is that he gets on to some group that doesn't want him onto them. So he persists, he's thinking that he's gotten into the inside story. And the idea is for him to discover that they made it look like a hoax so he would go away. But in fact, they've got something. Yeah, I've got it. Pardon me? What's my album?
be done, Hugh? Oh, Grups will do this for hours. You'd be astounded. It's really boring. I don't know what to say. I just, I don't know. Go outside, maybe. What? Grups will carry on like this for hours. I've never seen anything like it. It's, it's Grups? These are all Grups. And they're doing their Grups stuff, and it's very boring. That's right. If you don't have time to We're recording. It was creepy. It was creepy. It's kind it of mentally creepy. twisted. Why are we recording? For posterity. Who are they? <laughs> no, not they. We don't even know them. Oh, we don't even know them. 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 Let's see if you can make sense of this. That man works for the government. These people are totally out of control. They're off in middle America somewhere. What are you going to do about it? This is worse than a movie for trade. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
One can only hope. I, I pity the man who has to listen to this for like four consecutive hours to get some sense out of it. <laughs> Unless you're just going to play this during the dinner hour. I don't know what the plan is. Oh my god, what? The tapes. <coughs> Burning issues. There we go. Boy, I slept like a rock last night. <laughs> we were such wimps, Jesus. I don't. I'm a really light sleeper. It was such a quiet, sedate party, and it all turned in by 11 p.m. or midnight or whatever it was. Unheard of. I, 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 I wake in oh, I thought we were up later than that. We went out to, to make, we took the percussion morning, instruments out to the fire at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember <laughs> somebody <laughs> asked for enough time to help them get into the fire at 15 before people started dissipating from the fire again after that. Yeah, we were up pretty late. So I don't know, I figure, but I figured the latest I can estimate me and Volt turning in was 2.
Jesus. <laughs> Let's just write him a letter we with a list of names on it. <laughs> <laughs> we came up with We've a decided list of names like for your kid. <laughs> Let's do that. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a name. Sidewalk Sparks. <laughs> Liberty Ale. Liberty, Liberty Ale Sparks. <laughs> 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 No, how about Great Flame? Yeah, I think it's still recording. It's probably run out by right now. How about Great Flaming? How about Great Flaming Sparks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for <laughs> sure. Am I on? Am we on here? Put it on music? Yeah, can I uh, stop this? Uh, yeah, stop this!